Hello everyone, and welcome to the finale of Yoshi's Island. I am your host, Cold Faison. In the last episode, we did the deep underground maze. You know, deep, deep, deep in the asshole now. Um, so, Rosa Bunch here is just really deep underground in the maze, and it was a little confusing, but we made it out, so yeah. And then we did Keep Moving, which, uh, there's a lot of spikes, we had to keep moving. There's a bunch of chomp sharks, chomp, shark chomps, whatever the hell they are, trying to eat us and shit. Um, but yeah, today in this episode, we are going to be taking on the final boss in the entire game, Bowser. And looking at this portrait, it looks so weird. I think I mentioned this before. Like, for some reason, it's just, this photo looks really weird to me. Like, it doesn't look like his nose. I think I mentioned this before. Like, this portrait looks like the creature from the Black Lagoon just because, like, the ears are cut off on the side. Or, like, his body's cut off on the spot, on the side. And then, for just for some reason, like, his nose doesn't look like a nose because, like, the black part is not there. So it looks kind of like, like a mouth or a ring. I don't know, it's kind of confusing. But anyways, uh, let's get started. 6-8, King Bowser's Castle. Alright, scratch your fucking chin one last time. So we can go ahead and, uh, oh, I got a message. Forgot to, you know, lower the, uh, mute my phone. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, Kamek's in the background? Okay, so Kamek's in the background. And he's gonna try to, like, kill us and stuff, but we gotta, like, dodge his bullshit, so... Yeah, oh my god. <gasps> I hope I didn't miss a point. No. I think we're good. Whoa, no, please! <laughs> oh my god, I almost hit that shit. No, you don't, you ugly... Uh, hag. Alright, I mean, it's... Uh, guys can be called hags, too. I don't even know. Alright, so... <laughs> Made it after I freaking died like a dummy. God, I hate that, because you go all the way down and die. So yeah, Kamek's in the background, like, tries to screw you up. No, you don't. You have no pupils. Well, I mean, I think that's just his glasses. So anyways, you come into this room, and there are four spinning doors right here. And they're just labeled one through four. One, two, three, four. Um, I've never... I think I've been in the door first door, uh, door number one, once or something. Um, it's a difficult area from... I've, like, reread this. Uh, there's, like, a bunch of mace guys in there, so... I don't know. I hope I don't get that door. Door number two is the one I hope I get, because it's just a bunch of shy guys. It's kind of like a laid-back area. Door number three, I hope I don't get that one, because that one has tap tap the Golden in it, and it's a side-scroller, and it's freaking annoying, and it slows down a lot. And then door number four, I forgot where that leads me to, so... Let's, let's just hit a door. Oh my, of course, of course he gave me door number fucking three. Jesus. At least you get to see this guy, I guess. Uh, they all lead to uh, Bowser, so... Yeah. This one's just annoying, because uh, it's pretty much uh, tap tap the red nose, but um, this guy's golden, so it's just tap tap the golden. And it's just pretty easy. All you have to do is just keep him back. And just keep moving forward, and it's just, ugh. We're gonna get some slowdown soon, because the freaking, like... What are they called? Fangs? I forgot their name. See? They start appearing, and everything just slows down. Stop! Oh, I hit him again. Ha ha ha. Alright. So we just gotta deal with this bullshit for a little bit, and it'll be okay. No, he's jumping. Oh my gosh, so... <sighs> some crazy... Dude, the stupid... Freaking slowdown. Almost made me run into the lava. Um, so there's some shit that's been happening in my house. And um, this happened like a few days ago. So at late at night, I went to grab a snack. I was playing with my friends. And I was like, okay, be right back, guys. I'm going to make some tea and like get a snack. I opened up the pantry door and there was something moving in the back. Like I thought maybe like some food fell in the background. In the background. I thought some food fell in the back or whatever. But like it's, I got scared because I thought there was like something moving. And I could have sworn I saw a tail. I was like, oh my god, dude, it's like, is there, like, a, a freaking rat in the house? Because we'd never, ever, ever had rodent problems before. And I was like, maybe just some food was in the back? So I was, like, throwing, like, a bunch of, like, beans and shit in the back to see if anything would move. And I was like, okay, well, whatever. I was like, maybe just some food in the back. And then, like, a few days later, I told my dad. And he's like, a rat? He's like, no, like, I think just some food fell in the back. And then we... My mom thought she saw droppings. And so yesterday, my parents, my dad went through, like, the pantry, like, he removed some stuff, and there was a fucking mouse running around. My dad was, like, terrified, because he, he hate, I didn't, it didn't really look like a rat, per se, it looked more like a mouse. 
and it was just like, it was like a medium-sized mouse, I guess? But there was a mouse in our house. <laughs> Get it, rhymes. Um, but yeah, like, we've never had a rodent problem before. And my dad was trying to kill, he was like freaking out. He's like, I hate rats! He's like, I hate rats! I kind of just wanted to catch it and just like set it free. But like, my dad wanted to kill it. And he was like moving furniture, he was like lifted the refrigerator, he was like trying to remove the dishwasher to see if he was under there. Cause he like ran somewhere and we don't know like where he went. So he's pretty much like in our house somewhere, oh you piece of shit. He's in our home somewhere, and we have like no idea where he's at right now. So like he vanished, he like went under my dad's feet and he like freaked out. And so yeah, we bought like mouse traps and stuff. And it's just so weird cause I've never seen a mouse trap like I don't know. I, like I've never seen a real like a like a live mousetrap before. Alright, we're done. Um, but yeah. So now like we have a mouse in our house. A rat, whatever. And there's like mouse traps running around. And I don't know. Hopefully we'll be able to catch it. My dad just wants to kill it. I'd rather just like set it free, but I don't know. I blame my brother for that shit because he always leaves the door open in the back, and so that's how we got it. So yeah. But anyways, we're done here. If you eat the two shy guys, you get more red coins. So we should have had 15 coins before going on to like the like last little area, which is this area, the final area, kind of. Not really the final final, but you know what I mean. Let me see. Yeah. Um, before like going into this area, you should have like 15 red coins, and then you get the rest of them here. And so Cam makes here to annoy the shit out of you, try to cast spells on you and stuff. So. No, yeah. Shit. Oh my god, they hit me. No. Oh god, okay. No, I needed that. Get out of here, no. Oh god. No. I needed that star. Oh. Okay. Oh, Hades just does this shit. Oh, okay, good. Like, if you go near him, he'll go away. Oh god. Okay. Because I have 20 stars, I don't want to lose another one, otherwise I'm going to have to, like, use a... a thingy, so... Leave me alone! No, 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 no! Stop! No! No! You can, uh, you can throw eggs at him, too, to stop him, but, uh, yeah. So it's kind of like a... It's like the very final of the area, it's like, you're going to meet Bowser, so... I think we got two more coins to collect, hopefully. Uh, right here, right here. There's one more there. No, 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 no. You should be able to get it with a the coin. There we go. <gasps> oh, God! Yes! Alright, nice. No. Stay away. You ugly shit and you witchy, witchy poo nose. <laughs> Alright! We are here at the big red door. Yeah, scratch your fucking chin one more time. You are n n not welcome here. Yoshi, please hand over the baby. Oh dear, what to do, young master? Bowser wakes. Yeah. Oh, whoops, forgot to press button. Kamek, it's too noisy in here. I want to go sweepy. Bye. Huh? Hmm? Hmm? What kind of green donkey is dad? Looks like fun. Me wanna ride! God, I hate talking in like a kid's voice. Like, like reading it as if I was a kid or some shit. I hate like, looks like fun. What's that green donkey? Like, ugh. It's annoying to me. <laughs> mine, mine! Um, I don't think so. Get out of here. Alright, so this is Baby Bowser and he wants to ride Yoshi and I'm not gonna let him. And he jumps over the fucking hill. So what you need to do is just a uh, ground pound to hurt him. And he'll get all pissed off. And... Yoshi, why did you do this? Young master, let me help you! Here! Oh shit! Ladies and gentlemen, this is the best music in the entire game.
Oh my god! So Kamek turned him all gigantic, and so... He's just... Would you say he's, like, regular Bowser now? Since he's, like, huge and stuff? I don't know. Oh my god. So, it's gonna, like, shoot out fireballs. And so he got these giant eggs to, uh, hit him with, if I can hit him. Uh, he just slowly gets closer and closer, so... I gotta aim a little higher. This should hit him. There we go. Man, I've seen some speedruns of this, and these people, like, throw, like, the eggs at the perfect time. It's like, Jesus. Like, perfect angle, perfect time. Yeah. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, that's not gonna hit him. Shit. No, stay back, foul creature. Oh, God! That was fucking hit me. Holy shit. No, that's too low. Uh, okay, that should get him. And so, yeah, we just gotta keep hitting him until he just freaking goes away. <laughs> but yeah, I'll let you guys listen to the music a little bit because it's so good. I think this should be the last one. <laughs> yes! How dare you! It's not fair! You are such a meanie! <laughs> What kind of comeback is that? Someday we will back. We will be back. You'll see. <laughs> Later, bitch. Oh, <laughs> <gasps> there's baby Luigi. Dude, I'm surprised that Stork hasn't died from being like hung upside down, all the blood rushing to his brain and shit. You keep scratching your chin, why do you keep doing that? <laughs> Thus, due to the marvelous teamwork of the Yoshi clan, the twins are reunited. The captured stork is freed by Yoshi, and sets about his duty and finally makes a long-awaited delivery. Thank you, Yoshi. The twins will meet the parents soon. Can we actually see who their parents are? It's like, who raised these freaking Italian shits? <laughs> Just kidding. It's gonna take a little bit to trans- oh, there we go. Transcend. Or tra transition, that's what I meant. <laughs> Is Yoshi dead in there, seeing as he went in the building and like blew up the building? Because he's nowhere to be found. <laughs> And the stork is setting off. I love this part, like the beginning of the song. What was that? Was that a bug? Look at these giant eggplant fucking mountains. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that is the end of Yoshi's Island. This is actually the first time I'm 100%ing it. Oh, what? Uh, uh, 100% of the game, I never actually 100% of it because I always thought getting the red coins were like, were like the most difficult thing ever. I was like, why are they hidden? Like, why is there like another like bonus area above the like the freaking screen? Because there was like some levels that had like secrets and you have to like jump up in the air to like, actually get to them. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But yeah, guys, that is Yoshi's Island. Yeah. I think I might actually do another um, Super Nintendo game. But um, this one is kind of out of the blue, because I'm thinking about doing it, and I was like, you know, it's kind of not a bad idea. I've never actually 100%ed that, the game I'm thinking of. But I might do it. You guys need to, oh shit, I'm on my phone. <laughs> I actually swiped something I shouldn't have, but I like this song, it's really good. There's like some parts that are like amazing. Not that part. These clouds go forever. Wait, where's he flying to again? 
He's like over the ocean. Why are there like huge ass mountains? <laughs> like what? Because Yoshi's Island is an, is an island. That means he's flying like where there's no wait. Like, he's like flying over the water, right? Is that did that make sense? Because there's like no mountains in the water, right? I'm sure there's some. Anyways. Oh, I think it's this part. This part of the song coming up after this. <laughs> this part right here. Oh, it's so good. Why? Okay, I wasn't crazy when I saw that. There was like a little bug that just happened. It was like some white shit over the... The stork. Wasn't that like a thing back in the day? Like tales of like like storks actually delivering babies. Oh, this part too. They just, like, put that music in, and then it cuts off. And then <laughs> you just hear nothing now, so. Um, awkward? Oh, uh, but yeah, I was saying before, like, didn't people used to say, like, stork used to, like, storks used to deliver babies to the parents? But, like, that doesn't make any sense, because then they, like, doesn't the freaking mom, like, pop it out of her pussy, and then, you know, it's like, how does the stork get a hold of it and deliver it to her? <laughs> I'm not making any sense. I'm just being crazy and stupid. Um, but yeah, I guess thoughts on the project before this ends. I really did enjoy Yoshi's Island. I never, once again, I never actually 100 percented it, but I had a lot of fun. I feel like this LP should have ended a while ago, but, you know, <laughs> I'm lazy sometimes. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed Yoshi's Island. It's one of my favorite Super Nintendo games of all time. Just, I think it's one of the best Super Nintendo games on the Super Nintendo. So, yeah. I had a lot of fun with it. I love Yoshi games. They're super cute and fun. I've always been a big fan of the Yoshi's Island games. I really love Yoshi's Island DS. Um, Yoshi's New Island, I never played it through all the way, but um, it seemed... I kind of wasn't really feeling it too much, and yeah, I heard from reviews that it was like really disappointing, so that kind of sucks. But I would like to finish it, though, and Yoshi's Woolly World, oh, so good. I think it's such like it's real it's like up there with Yoshi's Island for the Super Nintendo. Like this and Yoshi's Woolly World are like really, really good. If you haven't played Yoshi's Woolly World, you should give it a try. The only thing that bothers me with that game is that they reuse the bosses and it's like really easy, so Yeah. And the stork has found his way like on the fucking little town here, even though it was covered in clouds. Looks like they have arrived where mom and dad live. Can they breathe in those little bags? <laughs> Just saying. Heroes are born! Mario and Luigi and the rest is history! Heroes never die! <laughs> it's always funny when Mercy dies, after she says that. <laughs> um, but that is the end, guys! It won't really let you go back to, like, the menu screen at all. Like, it just stays here. But it does save, so, yeah! So that is it for Yoshi's Island. Of course, I gotta do the bonus videos. Um, but yeah. I always wanna say at the end of my LPs, thank you for watching this one and my other LPs. I really do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. You guys make me happy. I always like talking to you guys in the comment section. Because you guys make me happy and you guys motivate me to, you know, keep making videos. And I always hope you guys enjoy my videos as much as I enjoy making them. So thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. And I hope you guys... 
stay tuned for my next LP and watch that one too. So yeah, and of course watch out for the uh, Yoshi's Island bonus episodes because I gotta get the, because there are the bonus levels in every world that I completed. So yes, thank you all for watching and see you guys later.